I don't think that they're any different from other kids because even though they have some deformities in their facial area, they still act like normal kids and play like normal kids and they cry like normal kids. Most of them have cleft lip, which is when their lip, their upper lip or lower lip isn't completely formed. And some of them have cleft palate, which is pretty much the same thing, except for they don't have like a roof of their mouth. The roof of their mouth is, isn't there. It's hard for them to eat. Um, but the volunteers and the IEs here feed them really well, and they're all really healthy. It's, it's part of them. I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with it, right? So, um, and they need to be happy too, um, as happy as the other kids. Um, and we don't want to make uh, them distinguish from other kids. I don't look at these babies as any different than any other babies that I've been around. I mean, I think the first time I came here, of course, it's a little shocking to see some of some of the, the physical problems that they have, but once you get to know them and play with them and learn a little bit about them, I don't even see the physical, uh, physical issues that they have. I just don't even see it anymore. <laughs> My name is Amy Ferranti and I've been volunteering with the Healing Home for probably more than a year and a half. Most of the babies here need two surgeries, one outside and one inside. So they go to the hospital and they come back usually within a week. Um, they have quite a lot of pain here, but you can see that she had a really beautiful surgery and she was quite complex. There are 25 babies here right now, so we've been loving all of the babies here for a long time. I have four children and my oldest one is soon to be 21, so it's not really a journey that we expected to be on. So, we just found something different and totally unexpected in being involved out here. This organization, they found something that they could do uh, as a gap. These babies, they're not they're I think they need to be held, I think they need to be snuggled, I think they need to be talked to, read to, just like any other baby. Some of these babies have been left in trash cans, have been left under bridges, have been you know, abandoned by their own parents for various reasons, and I think that every baby deserves to be loved, whether it's by their biological parents or by anybody else, and I think it's a truly great organization to volunteer for.